Hi there, my name is Mark, and this is Pacific Northwest Solar. Our family has a solar array installed at our property in rural western Washington state, on the west coast of the USA. I've been inspired by other YouTubers to share my experience with our solar array. This video details my results for November of 2023, and I hope it will be useful information if you are considering getting solar at your home. Please also see the link to my separate video that gives more details on our installation, listed below in the description. Here's a picture of our 16 kilowatt ground mount solar array. The solar array is directly south facing in one of our pastures with no trees or other obstructions around it. We have 50Z and shine panels rated for 320 watts each with Hoimiles M300 micro inverters on the backs of the panels. These micro inverters convert the panel's DC output to 240 volt AC power, which is sent back to the breaker panel at the house. There is only one choice of electricity providers where we live. Currently, the cost of electricity from the grid is the same no matter what day or time it's consumed. No time of use rates. Any power generated automatically goes to usage in the house first, and then any additional is automatically returned to the grid. We get a one-to-one -one credit for each kilowatt hour that we send back to the grid. These credits directly deduct from the power we are charged at the end of the month. As you can imagine, the overall idea is to overproduce in the summer and use the credits to reduce or eliminate the electricity bill in late fall and winter months. I am using a sense device in my electric panel to track power generated and power consumed, and I have written a custom Python program to capture real-time metrics for the entire system that I save and analyze. This is what the Sense app looks like, in case you are curious. You can change the time span of the data shown, from day to week, to month to year. We have shifted into the winter months, where solar production can't meet the usage. My utility gives me credits for each kilowatt hour I send back to the grid that gets used in later months to reduce my billed kilowatt hours for that month. The fully blended cost for electricity in this month, including all taxes fees credits, would be 11.9 cents per kilowatt hour, which is 10 pence per kilowatt hour for my UK friends. Using this rate, the value of the solar production for this month was $119.36. The cost of my usage would have been $188.75 at this blended rate if I didn't have solar. Here's an overall look at the solar production for November 2023 by day. Total production for the month was 1,004 kilowatt hours, with the lowest day being 8.3 kilowatt hours and the highest being 66.7 kilowatt hours. The overall average production per day was 33.5 kilowatt hours. Here's a comparison of the November 2022 versus November 2023 solar production. Total and average production was 8% higher in 2023, most likely due the adjustments made to the array in June. As a way of comparison, the PVGIS website suggests that I should get 881 kilowatt hours at my location during this month. This number is based on the 100% ideal conditions and perfect solar alignment for the month, but it's nice that my actual exceeded this value. Here's some additional details for the highest solar production day, November 14, 2023. At my location, their sunrise was at 7.51 a.m. and sunset was at 5.52 p.m. for a total of 10 hours of daylight on this day. Highest one-minute sampled solar production was 11.1 kilowatts at 12.32 p.m. Here is solar production and actual usage plotted together. The high spikes on the usage graph are from the electric furnace, the water heater, or the electric clothes dryer turning on. Here is solar production, overall usage, energy sent to the grid and energy from the grid on a per day basis for the month. Usage in this case is power used by the house, regardless of whether it came from the solar panels or not. Overall, solar production was about two thirds of our usage for the month. Here is the month by month comparison of solar production between 2022 and 2023. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that other people can view this content as well. Have a great solar powered day.